Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install CentOS Stream 10 version on VirtualBox. First we will download, then we will install. So to download, go to CentOS official website that is centos.org. Hit enter, then click on download. Then see here we have the two versions, 10 and 9. See for 10 we have ISOs. RPMs Cloud Containers Upgrade. Okay. See here the different architectures. For to download ISOs, we have to click on this mirrors. See, once we click down, download started. Go to downloads. See here, its size is 6.9 gigabytes. I'm cancelling this one because I have already downloaded it. In your case, wait until download completes. Okay. Once download is completed, then open virtual box. If you want to install VirtualBox on your machine, then there is a link in the video description. You can go through it and you can install it. Open VirtualBox, then click on this new button or machine and select new. Either is fine. Click on machine and select new. Either is fine. Click on it. Then here we have to provide the name for the virtual machine. I am giving send to OS Stream 10 VMO. Name can be anything. Then folder, which means this is the location to store this virtual machine files and folders. But if you want to give some other location, select other. Then select the path where you have the enough space. Select the folder. Then ISO means see here, drop down, select other. Then select the downloaded ISO file. I kept it. See here, I have the CentOS Stream 10 latest TVD ISO file. Select it. See, once you select it, type change it to Linux, subtype to Red Hat, and version is Red Hat 64 bit. Because, see here, we don't have CentOS. Okay. So, we have to select Red Hat. And see here the checkbox, skip unattended installation. Select it. If you don't select, it will automatically install. So, you have to select it. It is up to you. Then come to hardware section. See, by default, memory selected as 2 gigabytes. So, I want to increase it to 4 gigabytes. It is up to you. Then number of processes, I am giving 2. Then come to hardware hard disk section. That is storage. I am giving 100 gigabytes. These two are based on availability. If you are okay with all the settings, then click on finish. Still, if you want to modify the settings of this virtual machine, right click and select settings. Or just select it and click on settings. Or machine and settings. All three options are same. Okay, I am okay with all the settings. Okay, then click on start or right click and select start and normal start to start the installation of the virtual machine. So, click on start. Use up and down arrows and select the first one that is install. Let me maximize it. Send voice stream 10 and hit enter. If cursor is grayed out, just you have to press right control key on your keyboard to release the cursor. Now select the language and click on continue. See here, the beginning station is grayed out. Why? Because the options that are marked with red color must be filled or selected, okay, or configured. So, come to system, hit enter. I am okay with the default, so click on done. Then, set the root account password. See, here we have two options. Disable root account or enable root account. So, I want to enable root account, so set the password for this root account. Root account password. Root account. Then select this allow root SSH login with password. Then click on done. See, now we are able to click on begin installation. But I want to create user. Click on create user creation. Then this is the user full name. Then this is the username. Add then next checkbox add administrative privileges to this user account then require password ok then provide the password and confirm the same then click on done 
see like if you want to change software selection you have to click on here i am okay with server with gui so i am okay with all the settings then click on begin installation see installation has been started this will take time so i am going to pause this video and at then it will ask us to reboot the system then we will restart and we will perform the post installation steps okay in meantime please subscribe my channel for more tutorials see installation is completed click on reboot system see it is rebooting click on username and provide the password that you have set hit enter we haven't received full screen go to devices then we have to insert guest access cd image and we have to install to get the full screen okay now click on this applications see by default we don't have any web browser even if you try for firefox see here we don't have firefox okay so in this case let me install google chrome open terminal first increase the font now verify the version that we have installed more slash etc os hyphen release see we have installed sent for stream its version is 10 it is kafla okay q to quit control a now we will install the google chrome double get then http s colon forward slash dl dot google dot com forward slash linux forward slash then google hyphen chrome hyphen stable underscore current underscore x 84 six underscore 64 x86 underscore 64 dot rpm hit enter i forgot to give direct after linux direct i will keep this command in the video description hit enter see now it is downloading and its size is about 112 megabytes wait until download completes see we have successfully downloaded ls see here we have the google chrome stable current release rpm so install it sudo rpm hyphen ivh then google then give the tab to autofill entire file name hit enter provide the password of sudo user hit enter in this case just give hyphen no depths hit enter see now it is installing google chrome stable version 134 it is installed okay go to here show applications see here we have the google chrome a browser open it see if you want to make google chrome as default user default browser we have to select this one if you want to send automatically use the statistics and crash reports to google we have to select this one i don't want either of them it is up to you then click on ok got it Okay, see we got the google chrome okay see it's working fine okay so in this video we have seen okay we have installed ls remove this file rm google give the tab the next step is update the package sudo dnf update ampersand ampersand sudo dnf upgrade hit enter see updation or upgradation is in progress see it is going to upgrade 420 packages if you are okay with this one you have to type and hit enter this will take time so in this video we have seen how to download and install central stream 10 on virtual box then we have installed a, a browser on central stream okay for more tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you